Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating a pattern in pattern effect in Photoshop. So this is a sort of double layer pattern effect, but the layers are all going to be in the pattern piece. So I'm starting here with a document that is a known size. Now this one is 100 pixels by 100 pixels. You'll want it to be an even number. You'll want it to be a smallish size. This is going to be our foundation piece. So 100 by 100 in a brand new document. Now I'm going to select just the left hand side of the document here. So I'm going for something that is going to be a width of 50 and a height of 100. So I'm just reading off those values in the little tooltip there. And I'm going to fill this with a color. So let's just go and get a sort of blue color. We're going to create a sort of gingham check here. So I'll fill this with this color. It's the foreground color. I'll press Alt Backspace mistake. I'm going to fill it with this color, but before I do so, I'm actually going to make a brand new layer here. So I'll fill one side of this new layer with this color here. It's in the foreground, so I'll press Alt Backspace on the PC. If I was on the Mac, I would be pressing Option Delete. Now I'll press Control or Command D to deselect my selection. And what I want to do next is to do the same thing on another new layer, but this time I'm going across the top of the document. So again with the rectangular marquee, going to drag out a marquee whose height is 50 pixels and width is 100. And again, Alt Backspace on the PC, that would be Option Delete on the Mac. I'll press Control or Command D to deselect my selection. Now I want these two layers to interact with each other. So for the topmost layer, I'm going to select Multiply as the Blend Mode. And that gives me this very, very traditional piece of gingham and this is going to make a gingham check pattern. So I'll choose select all and then edit, define pattern and I'm going to call this gingham and click OK. So now we need a new document to work in and the trick here is to make sure that the piece of pattern that we've just created is going to evenly fill our new document which is why it shows 100 pixels by 100 pixels because it's really easy to do the math. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document, this time that's 600 by 600. So six of these are going to fit across and six of these are going to fit down. File, New, I'll type 600 by 600 and click Create. And now I want to fill it with my gingham pattern, so I'll choose Layer and then New Fill Layer and I'll choose Pattern. I'll click OK and my last created pattern, which is this gingham check pattern, is automatically selected. I'll scale it to 100% because that means that I get six across and six down. I'll just click OK. Nothing has been squashed here and everything is perfect. And more than that, this is a pattern piece in itself. So I could make a pattern swatch out of this. And when I line it up, this piece here is going to be lined up over here. So you can see this would make a perfect pattern. And that's what we're counting on because we're about to add some elements over the top of this. Now at this stage, I'm going to rasterize this. I'm just going to right click and choose rasterize layer because I just need the layer. Now I've got already a flower that I've created here. It's on a layer by itself and I'm going to just move it across into this new document so it's going to be part of the pattern. I'll right click on it and choose duplicate layer and I'm going to send it to Untitled 2 which is this one that has the gingham pattern in use in it and I'll click OK. So now when we get here we can see the flower is in place. Now the flower is going to be an element in our pattern. I want it to appear a couple of times. I want it to appear sort of pretty much in the center of this document. So I'm just pushing it into the center there and I'll click the check mark. Now I want a duplicate of this, so I'm going to drop it onto the new layer. So I've got a copy of it. And with this copy, I'm going to break it up and send it to all four corners of the document. And we do that using an offset filter. So with the layer selected, we'll choose filter, other, and then we'll choose offset. And we're going to set the horizontal and vertical values to half the width and height of the document. And the document is 600 by 600, so half of 600 is 300. So you're just going to type 300 and 300, that's all, and click OK. And this should make a pattern piece. So let's go and see how it looks. I'm going to select everything with Select All. I'm going to choose Edit and then Define Pattern. And then I'm going to call it Pattern in Pattern. 
and I'll click OK. And now to test it, we need an even larger document. So I'm going to choose File and then New. And this one doesn't have to be any specific size because we're just checking to make sure that the pattern works. I'm going to make one that's 1920 by 1080 because that's the size of my screen. And I'll just click Create. Now I'm going to fill this document with my new pattern. So I'll choose Layer, New Fill Layer, and then Pattern. I'll click OK. And this is our pattern in pattern effect, just filling this document. I'll click OK. So what we've got is underlying this, we've got a gingham check pattern. And over the top, we've got our flowers. Now we could do other things like, for example, come in and make this middle flower. We could rotate it, for example. So let me just go and see if I can pick it up here. I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees. So as I rotate it, I'll just hold the shift key so it gets flipped over and it's exactly 180 degrees of rotation. Now I'll choose Select All, Edit, Define Pattern. This is Pattern in Pattern 2. Click OK. Let's go back to this document. We'll double click on this icon here so we can go and choose a different pattern. So I'm going to choose the very last pattern, which is the one that we just created. Click OK. And in this one, we've got a different orientation for our flowers. So you can see these have the flower on the left and the leaves on the right. This one has the flower on the right and then the leaves on the left. So basically, that's how you create a pattern in pattern effect in Photoshop. You want to design and create your base pattern, fill your document with it, and then build your other pattern on top as if it were a totally separate pattern. And then you'll have something that is effectively a pattern in pattern effect. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click that subscription button so you can subscribe to this channel, and then hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.